Trinity Episcopal Church in Juneau, Alaska, the Noonday Prayers. We gather in the name of God, creating, redeeming, and give us light. God of justice, God of peace, in the heat of day, we take refuge in you. Glory to, the, glory to you, Father, glory, glory to you. you. Glory to you, Savior. Glory, Glory to you. Glory to you, Spirit. Glory, Glory to you. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 112. And let's read it by half verse, or responsibly by half verse. Happy are they who fear the Lord and have a great delight in his commandments. Their descendants will be mighty in the land. The generation of the Lord. Wealth and riches will be in their house, and their righteousness will last forever. Let light shines in the darkness for the upright. The righteous are merciful and full of compassion. It is good for them to be generous in lending, and to manage their affairs with justice. For they will never be shaken. The righteous sleep heaven in everlasting they will not be afraid of any evil rumors. Their heart, their heart is right. They, they put, put their, their trust in the Lord. Their heart is established and will not shrink until, until they see their desire on their hands. They have given freely to the poor, and their righteousness stands fast forever. They will hold up their head with honor. The wicked will see it and be angry. They will gnash their teeth and pine away. The desires of the wicked will perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We weave this day silence of knowing, clearness of seeing, grace of speaking. We weave this day humility of listening, depth of understanding, joy of serving. We weave this day peace of being, give of loving, power of meaning. We read from Matthew chapter 10. Jesus said to the twelve, As you go, proclaim the good news. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, and cast out demons. You received without payment, give without payment. Take no gold or silver or copper in your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tent tunics or sandals, or a staff, for laborers deserve their food. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who in it is worthy, and stay there until you leave. As you enter the, the house, greet it. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town. Truly, I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of the judgment than for that town. See, I am sending you out like sheep into the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents 
and innocent as doves. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the people. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessing to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all that we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples, still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family and God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and brother, the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in a time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in a times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, Fulfillment, give them the song of the angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. Almighty God, who sittest on, in the throne of judgment, judging right, we humbly beseech thee to bless the courts of this justice and the magistrates in all this land. Give unto them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, that they may discern the truth and impartially administer the law in the fear of thee alone. Through him who shall come to be our judge, thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I invite your intercessions and special prayers at this time. We pray for Jim, Joanna, Jim A, Clark and Rosemary, Lexi, Lawrence Lee, John P, Alex, Kathy M, Chelsea, Carlos, Sharon, and Onismus. We also give the thanks for the blessing of the birthdays upon Ryan, Teresa, B, Roselinda, and Galveston, and those graduating. We pray also for Gail and Donna. For President Biden, President Nixon, New York, 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 New York
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Amen. Church remembers Barnabas the Apostle. Grant, O God, that we may follow the example of your faithful servant Barnabas, who, seeking not his own renown, but the well-being of your church, gave generously of his life and substance for the relief of the poor, and spread the gospel through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Wherever your love pours out from hearts, God of love, may may lives be blessed. Wherever your hands are seen in ours, servant God, May our eyes be blessed. Wherever your peace is sown like seeds, God of peace, may our eyes be blessed. Wherever your grace sets prisoners free, God of grace, may our eyes be blessed. Wherever your joy shines out in praise, God of joy, may our eyes be blessed. Amen. May God's love be the love that surrounds us today. May God's peace be the peace that we share on our way. May God's grace be the grace that our actions display. May God's truth be the truth in the words that we say. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God. May Christ our Savior give us peace.